Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. When you back up into the preceding chapter, chapter 4, it describes how Jesus was healing people. He was uh, taking in the sick. He was taking in the blind. He was taking in uh, those that had all manner of health issues. Not only did Jesus do this, but he raised the dead, didn't he? And these are all examples. These are all examples of the fact that Jesus had power over the effects of sin. Why is people born blind? Why? And he said it was for the glory of God. It's so that people can understand that sin uh, results in death. But through Jesus Christ, he has the power to overcome that. And, and he is the power to overcome that. And so Jesus came healing, didn't he? He came healing. He came preaching the gospel uh, of the kingdom. He came preaching repentance. And a lot of people don't like to hear that. All these were examples so that we could see that our God cares for us and that he has the power to overcome sin. And then he gets into here where he says, blessed are the poor in spirit. A common recurring theme throughout all of Scripture is that we are to take care of the poor. He said, the poor you always have with you. You always have poor people. You always have the poor. The Lord stressed all throughout, from Genesis all the way through Revelation, the need to take care of, of the poor. Don't just pass them by. Don't just uh, leave them. As you, you have an opportunity to lift them up. You need to lift them up. I believe this was showing us that not only are we to help others because that's the right thing to do, but I believe the Lord was trying to teach us that we are poor, that we are the downtrodden. Poor means to be bent over to lack resources, to be without, if you will. So he's letting us know that we are the poor. We are the ones that are poor, and yet he's come to lift us up. He's come to grab our hand. Peter and John, I think it was uh, in the book of Acts, they came to the man uh, that was lame uh, from his uh, birth, I think. I'd have to go back and look, but... Uh, he was begging alms, wasn't he? And they said, silver and gold have I none, but what I have give I unto thee in the name of Jesus, rise and walk. And the man not only rose up and walked, he leapt for joy, didn't he? Uh, he didn't have to have therapy. And I like that. I like when the Lord heals you, you, you heal. You don't have to, you don't have to go through weeks and weeks of recovery. Uh, you are healed. But I think he's trying to get across this thought to us. The poor in spirit, I think poor spirit being downtrodden, down in the mouth, if you will, just lowly. And he said, blessed are those people. Blessed are the ones that are poor in spirit. And the reason they are blessed or highly favored or happy in an enviable position, I think we mentioned in the last video, because of that, because we are in this enviable position, position is because that we recognize who we are. The poor in spirit recognize that they are poor. The poor in spirit recognize that they have needs and they need help. Isn't that what he told the church at Laodicea? Uh, he said, you think that you're rich and you have need of nothing and know not that you're wretched and miserable and poor uh, and blind and naked. You, you don't realize that. He said, but if you'll repent, if you'll come to me, then I will help you up. I will give you my hand. I'll lift you up. And that's why the poor in spirit are blessed, uh, because they recognize their need. They recognize their condition and God helps them. I've always said this uh, as far as salvation is concerned. You can't get saved unless you're lost. Right. If you're not lost, you don't need to be saved, do you? But if you are lost, you need to be saved. And one of the most freeing moments that I've ever had in my life, I was driving to work just outside of Smyrna, Tennessee. I came to the realization and came to accept the fact that I was lost, that I was a sinner. I was 24 years old at the time. On the way to work that day, I accepted that I was lost. I accepted that I was poor without 
and I drove into work and actually I got saved uh, at my workstation where I was working inside the plant and the Lord was able to reach it right down through all the walls and everything and save save me but he didn't save me until I got lost you want to be saved you got to get lost first okay and I know that's not the topic of this verse here uh, in essence but it really is David made a statement. I have to look it up. Let me see if I can find. I think I wrote it down because I knew that I wouldn't be able to remember it. He said, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. That's David. That's David repenting and uh, recognizing who he was. And he recognized that he had to have a, a contract, contrite, a broken spirit. And in order to be blessed of God, go to Luke chapter four, verse 18. And it tells us he's quoting Isaiah chapter 61, what we would call Isaiah chapter 61. No, they didn't have chapters and verses back in those days. But at least he said that he came to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted. He preached deliverance to the captives, recovery of sight to the blind. And he said, liberty them that are bruised. So the Lord came to help those that were down, didn't he? He came to help those that they that are whole need not a physician. They they don't need a physician. If you're whole, you don't need help. But if you are broken, if you're poor in spirit, listen, God wants to help you. Just call out to him. Recognize that you're broken in spirit and uh, and he'll help you. What's the Bible say? He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. That's right, wasn't he? He he was he took on all that we were going through and it says by his stripes we are healed. We're healed because of who Jesus is and what he's done for us. Poor in spirit. Whole lot to it, whole lot more than I can get into in just a very short time. You can spend days, weeks, months, years just studying this verse. Just know that those that are poor in spirit. In order to be blessed, you have to come to that place and you have to come to the place that you recognize your need of God, your need of help, your need of the only one that can help. God bless.